Welcome to our Electrical Engineering YouTube channel. In this video, we will see an example on Kirchhoff's Current Law, in short, KCL. To download notes, MCQs, and app, you can visit this website link, electrical-engineering.app. This website is specially designed for electrical and electronics engineering students. Question, find the currents and voltages in the circuit shown in figure. Now here for this circuit, we have to determine all the currents and voltages. That means we have to determine I1, I2 and I3 and V1, V2 and V3. Solution First of all, we will take this circuit. Now here, let's assume the direction of current. Let's say the direction of current is clockwise. Let's say this is current I1. And here, this is current I2. Or we can directly apply KCL at this node. So what we will do? We will directly apply KCL at this node. So let's say this is node A with voltage VA. So apply KCL at node A. Now according to KCL that is Kirchhoff's current law, summation of all the currents entering a node is equal to summation of all the currents leaving the node. Now here we can see at this node entering current is this I1. So here we can write I1 is equal to now leaving currents are I2 and I3. These two currents are leaving from this node. So it will be I2 plus I3. Now here we can write this I1 in the form of voltage as 10 minus VA divided by 2. 10 minus VA divided by 2 is equal to. Now we can write I2 in the form of voltage will be VA minus 0 divided by 8. So VA minus 0 divided by 8 plus I3. Now I3 will be VA minus minus 6. So here we can write VA minus minus 6 that will be plus. So VA minus minus 6 divided by 4. Now let's rewrite this properly here or directly simplify it here. So it will be 10 divided by 2. 10 divided by 2 minus VA divided by 2. Then if we take this on left side, so it will be minus VA divided by 8. Now here this will be VA by 4. So on left side, it will be minus VA divided by 4. Now here this will be minus minus plus 6 divided by 4. So on left side, it will be minus 6 divided by 4 is equal to 0. Now here, here we can see 10 by 2. This is 5. 5 minus 6 by 4. 5 minus 6 divided by 4. So it will be 3.5. So 3.5. Now here we can take this VA common. So it will be minus 1 by 2. Minus 1 by 8. Then minus 1 by 4. Is equal to 0. So it will be 3.5 plus VA in bracket. This will be minus 1 by 2. Minus 1 by 8. Then minus 1 by 4. So it is equal to minus 0 0.875 is equal to 0. Now next we can find the value of VA. So it will be VA in bracket minus 0 0.875 is equal to. If we take this on right side so it will be minus 
3.5 now va is equal to now this minus and this minus will get cancelled so 3.5 divided by 0 0.875 so therefore va is equal to 3.5 divided by 0 0.875 so it is 4 volt now since we found the value of va we can easily find the value for i1 i2 and i3 so let's find the value of i1 so i1 is equal to 10 minus VA divided by 2. 10 minus VA divided by 2. So it will be 10 minus VA value is 4 divided by 2. So 10 minus 4 divided by 2. It will be 3. So it will be 3 ampere. Here we can write I1 is equal to 3 ampere now next we can find the value of i2 so i2 will be va minus 0 divided by 8 va minus 0 divided by 8 so now the value of va is 4 4 minus 0 divided by 8 is 4 minus 0 divided by 8 it is 0 0.5 ampere so therefore i2 is equal to 0 0.5 ampere now next i3 so i3 will be this i3 will be va minus minus 6 divided by 4 VA minus minus 6 divided by 4. Now here VA value is again 4 volt. So 4. Now this minus minus plus. 4 plus 6 divided by 4 is equal to. Here we can write 4 plus 6 divided by 4 is equal to 2.5 ampere. So therefore I3 is equal to 2.5 ampere now next we can find the value of v1 v2 and v3 so v1 will be 2 into i1 here we can write v1 is equal to 2 into i1 now this will be 2 multiplied with i1 value is 3 so this will be 6 volt therefore v1 is equal to 6 volt now next v2 so v2 will be now here we can see v2 will be 8 into i2 so 8 multiplied with i2 value is 0 0.5 so this will be simply 4 volt v2 is equal to 4 volt now next v3 so v3 will be here we can see v3 will be va minus minus 6 divided by 4 now here v3 will be this is the value of i3 now v3 will be 4 into i3 current into resistance so it will be simply 4 into i3 4 into i3 so 4 multiplied with the value of i3 is 2.5 now 4 multiplied with 2.5 is 10 so 10 volt so v3 is equal to 10 volt so this is how we can find the value of voltages v1, v2 and v3 and currents i1, i2 and i3.
Now this is what we have to find in this question. Find the currents and voltages in the circuit shown in figure. So this is the problem on Kirchhoff's current law or KCL. To download notes, you can visit this website link electrical-engineering.app. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel. And thanks for watching.